This video is sponsored by Corsair and their new LL series RGB fans. These will definitely make your PC stand out and also run cool while staying quiet. Available in 120 and 140 millimeters, they also have the included Lighting Node Pro so you can control the lighting effects and all the colors easily inside the software. If you're interested in these crazy RGB fans, check the link in the description down below. Let's build a keyboard. All right, so all the parts that I picked up were from Banggood. If you wanna check them out, I'll have them all listed down below so you could build your own keyboard. First thing is gonna be getting these stabilizers onto the PCB so we can line up the frame, then start putting on all the switches. All right, so that was really quick and easy. You saw what we had to do was just put the, uh, the stabilizers on the PCB and then the tedious task of putting all of these switches onto the frame itself. But since you know these do get damaged during shipping, what we have to do now is go through and make sure all the pins on the bottom are properly aligned before we actually put this onto the PCB so it snaps into place then we could start uh, going in there and solder them down. So that was actually pretty easy. Uh, usually when you have to go through and align all the pins, it takes a while for it to get all properly aligned and to snap into the PCB. But I uh, would bring it down here. Well, you can sort of see some of the pins sticking through here. I know it's not focusing too well, but uh, that's what we were looking for. So now we're gonna be doing the soldering part of this. And I'm telling you guys right now, I am not an expert at soldering. I don't know much. I've only done it maybe three or four times in the past on the channel when it was for uh, keyboard videos. So, you know, making DIY kits, something like that. So I'm not an expert by any means. If you see my soldering job being, you know, bad or whatever, you don't got a comment. I probably already know, but uh, that's the next step here. Soldering all the pins individually onto the PCB. So it starts to you know, get up and running. Let's do that now. All right, so like I said earlier, my soldering job is probably horrible. Um, I don't have a degree in engineering. I have a degree in communications, all right? But it's still gonna work. I tested all the keys. Everything is registering just fine. Some of the pins are definitely soldered better than others, but regardless, it still works. And the last thing to do really is gonna be just screw this into the base of the keyboard and put the keycaps on.
All right, so we got it all built up as you can see. And honestly, it took maybe around like an hour total and that was even with filming and stuff. To give you guys a better idea of more of the details on this, so as you saw for the switches, we went with Gateron Blues, and I like those because A, they're cheaper than Cherry, so you can get them on Banggood for a cheaper price, and they're going to give you that nice clicky and tactile actuation. I know you want to hear it, I'll do a sound test now. I'm also a big fan of the keycaps as well. I like the whole teal and white kind of breakup here with the little red accent for the escape key. And since these are side printed, all the characters and symbols and stuff, all the letters are printed here on the, the front side of the key. So when you're looking at it front on, it looks like it's you know, a nice plain and minimal keyboard, but you can still see what you're typing because it's all here on the front side for you. But I just wanted to do a cheap little vlog style video on building a DIY 60% keyboard. Again, I got all the parts from Banggood for maybe around like $80 total. You can get different parts, cheaper parts, different components to make a cheaper keyboard even. It's a fun little thing, you know, personalize and create your own keyboard. Definitely more meaningful. So I'll put all the links to the products you saw here from Banggood in the description down below. If you like this video, if you like it in the more kind of vlog style format, you know, very informal, let me know as well by giving the video a thumbs up show your support feel free to follow me on twitter at random frank p and last if you haven't already hit that subscribe button well, i'm random frank p hope you enjoyed have a good day